In the Kitchen is brought to you by Food Services of America. 813 on the dot. Now, welcome back to Creme 2 Morning News on the CW22. We are in the kitchen this morning with the Rusty Moose. We have executive chef Andrew Potter here, as well as Miles Boggio from Thank FSA, you. talking about this beautiful dish here, arguably one of my favorite meals of all time. Awesome. We got some ribeye and some local seasonal produce. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about this ribeye. This is a huge chunk of meat. Yeah, so what we've got here is a 45-day aged, locally sourced Angus ribeye that we have, uh, yeah, we have brought to the table here for you to just sear up cast iron style. So, and let's talk about this aging process because I don't know much about it. I know I just get the meat and then I cook it. But what so makes it set it apart here? Basically, what we've got is you know there's there's dry aging and wet aging, and what we've done is wet age the steak. We get it at 25 days age from the slaughterhouse, and then we basically age it for another two weeks so that it can break down the enzymes and be at its peak of tenderness. So, okay. Yeah. So what that does too, in that additional like 20 days that Andrew does with their restaurant, it just adds twice the flavor to it. And oh really? And ribeye is already flavorful, absolutely. so this is just on another level. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. And it's spoon tender. You could cut it with a spoon. It's really? So good. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And do you season it before you put it in the pot here, or how do we? I like to add it in and then season it once we get it into the pan. Mm -hmm. And so I've got some whiskey smoked applewood salt here, and then just a little simple black pepper. And is this your own mix here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we do that all house made. So. And add. you're just cooking it in butter? Yeah, just good old fashioned butter. Everything so can't great go starts wrong with butter. butter. Right? Exactly, right? Nothing's <laughs> more delicious than it's steak and be butter. Good. So exactly. Yeah, that's fantastic. So. But yeah. And I'm noticing your technique. Is there a reason you do that? Uh, yeah, it's all about um, basically moving it to create the maximum amount of crust on mm -hmm. the steak because mm -hmm. everybody loves that really awesome crust on the outside of your steak, you know. So. I basically keep it spinning almost the entire time. So just keep spinning, spinning, so It's really spinning, a labor so. of love, huh? Of course, of course, as all good great. things are, you know. Yeah. So. I've been doing my steak wrong this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I <laughs> need to do it like this here. Yeah. And how long does it normally take for something like this is a 16 ounce cut? Yeah, 16 ounce. So it takes a little bit of time. Okay. We're looking at about 12 minutes to cook this all the way through. And then we would rest it for another five. So. And for people who don't know, what does that do? Basically, that cooks it. We cook our steaks 70% basically in the pan, and the other 30% happens on the plate as it rests. And that so. sometimes can keep the juices in, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly, yeah. keeping it as moist and tender as possible. And keep all that flavor inside the steak instead of running out on your plate. Perfect. Yep. Let's talk about where you source some of your meat and some of your veggies from. Um, we basically get everything from FSA. Yeah. So, yeah, we, uh, they do really take care of us and do a great job for us. So. Yeah. So this locally sourced steak that he's cooking up today is part of our cattle company beef program. Mm -hmm. And what that is is a cooperative of ranchers that help supply our, our chefs and, and our restaurateurs mm -hmm. with the most premium quality in cattle. And it comes from our region here in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. I think a lot of people like to hear that because they like to support local and this Absolutely. is one of the ways you can do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Especially yeah. if we're in farm country yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And talking about what's in season right now, asparagus. Exactly. Yeah. You can't go wrong with asparagus. Mm. and. You know, always, you know, roasted fingerling potatoes are always nice. Oh, absolutely. Classic Idaho, you know. So. That's right. And when we have one plated we steak one here, of course, I'm not, I don't imagine you're serving it on wood, <laughs> right? I, would, I wish we could, but they just don't, they don't dishwash well, so. Yeah. Oh, well, it looks delicious. We're running out of time. Just quickly here, can you mention to people where you're located? Um, so we are at West 901, or 9105, um, highway, right off of Highway 2. Um, right at the corner of Flint Road, so in Airway Heights. And there you go. You can see it on your screen there. And hours vary? Um, yes, basically we open at 11, close at 9, and then uh, 10 on the weekends. So. Okay, there Perfect. you go. Oh, Brandon, let's get one more shot of this steak. It, it looks so nice. You can hear the sizzle, too. That is Oh, beautiful. and it smells so good. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, do you encourage uh, making a reservation? Oh, uh, yeah, please. Yeah, come on down and see us anytime. So. Yeah, right. with Father's Day coming up yeah. right around the corner. Exactly. Right. Perfect right. time yep. for a good Perfect stay. for the yeah. ribeye. All right, you guys. Andrew, thank you so much. Yeah, and Miles you. from thank FSA. It. it is 817. Now check out the Rusty Moose out in the Airway Heights area. We'll be right back. Thank you. That smells wonderful. It smells oh, really man. good. <laughs> in the Kitchen has been brought to you by Food Services of America.